Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Cowl behind ignorance if you will, but my brother deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then. King of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who've died for it. I say is, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death, children forced to work, but killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate, but his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise, and I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our father's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of life. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true. If it's really coming here, we are all in grave danger. For life and death, brother. Now choose. Cost to the city. You vowed to fight poverty. But our actions have made the problem worse. You must act. We destroyed the old quarter. It's only right choices, your majesty. Leave the budget as it is. After all, the people have grown accustomed to murder, theft. The people will... Your majesty, I am Herman Worthy, and I have a design. I wish this to be an enlightened castle. Oh, fabulous! I am here to seek the protection you promised. I will keep my promise. Aurora will become part of Albion, and its people will be our equals in every way. But more importantly, the treasury. Hi. Is it? Very well, your man. Isn't it time we held out a helping hand to those who need it most? The poor of this city noticed a certain aroma permeating the city of late. Even more nauseating. Morning wood is to be left unspoiled. We will find other ways to deal with Bowerstone's sewage problem. ...in the amount of alcohol they can purchase per day. As you wish. Today, you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reaver will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> your Majesty, it was your father who... The Brightwall Academy will be open to all who wish to learn. Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable... Page is right. We must protect our natural... You've saved us from certain destruction. We're in your debt. You'll always be welcome here, should you wish to return. What shall we do, your majesty? You are such a giving, magnanimous person. Very well, I will make the arrangements. Life will be easier for your subjects for a while, but the treasury will... Your majesty, as you know, 
The threat from the deserts that surround... Aurora is un... You pledged to restore our home... I will keep my promise to the dwellers. The dwellers will stand by you till the end. Sign on the dotted line, please. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion, its protector. Yes! No armor is stopping you, is it? the darkness behind. I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. My people shall never forget what you have done for them. We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last enjoy peace. Farewell, Your Majesty. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. The hero Albion needed. What will you do now? I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, my king. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. But you don't need me anymore. And Albion will heal easier without me. Well, king, old chum, ruler supreme, pal, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. I'm not cut out to be a general. And I think I'd like to start traveling again. Or maybe... See if Paige needs any help down in industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of color. Devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so, and you did it without becoming a tyrant. The people love you, and you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people, when it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people, 
and you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise, but you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. Perhaps we shall meet again one day, King. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. At your service. Now, I, I know you've all been very sick, but I'm going to make you all better. Won't that be nice? You're a twat! Jo Jonathan, please. Right, this is for your own good. Dear sir, we were deeply saddened to learn of your recent... Come on. Ah, here we are. Face the offending ornaments, maintain eye contact, and speak the following words in a deep, commanding voice. Gargalus minimalusus. I'm too young to be an animate. Wait! We can talk this over! Take the others! Just let me go! Who are you, Jimmy? I'll have you! No! Shoot it! Shoot the gargoyle! No! What have I done? My poor gnomes. Oh, my dear Jonathan. I gave you life, and now... I've taken it away. <laughs> well, I can't stay here anymore. The memories are just too painful. Maybe Mother will take me in again. Perhaps she was right. This affection for stone ornaments was unhealthy from the start. I am going to get myself some real friends. So, some stuffed squirrels, maybe. Yes, they do nicely. Thank you for making me realize how empty and sad my life is. Please take this small reward. I'm off to mother's.